Hi, this video tutorial I will cover method overriding. Here you can see animal class. It has eat method. This eat method is printing. Animal is eating. Here you can see line class which extends animal class. So line class is subclass of animal class. And line class override eat method of animal class. And provide new implementation. Here uh, this eat method is printing, line is eating meat. Here you can see cow class which extends uh, animal class. So cow class is uh, subclass of uh, animal class. And cow class uh, override eat method of animal class and provide new implementation. And this eat method is uh, printing, cow is eating grass. If uh, subclass has same method as declared in the parent class, then it is known as method overriding. So in this case, animal is the super class. It has eat method and same eat method is there in the line class. So this is the example of uh, method overriding. In other words, if subclass provides the specific implementation of the method that has been provided by one of its uh, parent class. Then also it is known as uh, method overriding. Method overriding is used to provide specific implementation of a method that is already provided by its super class. Method overriding is used for runtime polymorphism. Here I have defined animal class. It has eat method. Here I have defined a line class which extends animal class and override eat method and provide new implementation. Here I have defined a cow class which extends animal class and override eat method and provide a new implementation. Here I have defined a method override test and it has a main method. I am running this program in debug mode. Here uh, animal reference points to line object. So using uh, animal reference, I am calling eat method. So first it will call uh, line object uh, eat method. Now uh, animal reference points to cow object. So here using animal reference, I am calling uh, eat method. So now animal reference points to cow object. So it will call uh, cow object uh, eat method. Here you can see the output. Here you can see some of the important points related to method overriding. Method must have same name as in the parent class. Method must have same number and type of its parameters as in the parent class. Method must have same written type as in the parent class. Must be SA relationship, meaning inheritance. When overriding a method, you might want to use the at override annotation that instructs the compiler that you intend to override a method in the super class. If for some reason the compiler detects that the method does not exist in one of the super classes, then it will throw compile time error. And this is about method overriding and thanks for watching.